This is a quick walkthrough of the container memory and RabbitMQ auto scaling rules. First, we'll show how you create these rules via the autoscaler CLI. The memory rule only requires a minimum and maximum threshold. The RabbitMQ rule will also require a subtype or the name of the queue in addition to the minimum and maximum thresholds. You can also create and manage these rules via the UI within Apps Manager. Unlike other rule types, you can have multiple RabbitMQ rules on your app in order to monitor multiple queues. You can also create container memory and RabbitMQ rules via manifest.